Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Rob Balasabas, and today I'm going to show you how to invite guests to your StreamYard sessions. All right, so let's jump into my screen and let's get going. Okay, so uh, here is my StreamYard dashboard. Now, before I start showing you how to exactly do, you know, exactly this, which is inviting uh, for guests to your StreamYard session, you need to have a StreamYard account so that you can follow along with this tutorial. And so if you don't have a StreamYard account yet, uh, you're in luck. It's going to be really easy. You can actually get a 14-day free trial uh, by clicking the link in the description of this video. Now, you can go and take a free trial on any of the plans. I suggest the pro plan. That way you have access to all the different features that StreamYard has to offer. And then within 14 days, you can always downgrade or upgrade your account as you see fit. Okay, so make sure you do that, set that up. You can pause this video and then come back and uh, let's go back to my screen. Okay, so uh, we are back on my screen here. So what I've done here is I've already set up a uh, broadcast, right? This is the broadcast page and I've set up a test broadcast here. Okay, so now within this test broadcast, what you wanna do is you wanna go and click this three dot button right here. Okay, that'll open up some uh, features, some options here for you. So you can see it, I'm gonna point it right there. Can't miss it. We're gonna click on that and you can see here that there is this uh, option to invite guests, okay? This is gonna pop up now. Um, and so now you have a couple different options to invite guests, okay? The first option is basically you need to get this link over to the person that you wanna to invite to your StreamYard session, okay? So you can click the copy button, copy, and then put this into an email or send this to through a a DM on Facebook Messenger or Slack or Discord or Instagram DMs, LinkedIn, what have you, right? You can put that in there, okay? Uh, there's also some shortcuts here. There's some shortcuts here to put this into Gmail, put this into your email client, right? Or Facebook Messenger, okay? Really, really easy. So you've got four different options here. Basically copy uh, this link, you can put into Gmail directly, email or Messenger. Okay. Um, also really important to note that you can have up to 10 people on the screen at any given time. So you can have a massive, massive show with lots of guests. Uh, just so in case you're wondering how many guests can I have on the screen, you can have up to 10 people on the screen at once. It's going to be a really busy stream, a lot of conversation, a lot of, you know, moderating and things like that. Uh, crowd control, but you can have up to 10 people on the screen. Now there's another option here. I'm gonna click on the enter studio button, right? You'll see that right there. Enter studio. And it's gonna go into the studio now. And um, again, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna go into and turn off the camera here and the, and the audio to not confuse us here today. Um, and I'm gonna click on enter studio. Okay, so now this is the StreamYard studio. This is where everything happens. Um, I have another tutorial that will kind of take you through all the elements of the studio. But where I want you to go is that there is a button here at the bottom. I'm going to point to it and it says invite. Okay, really straightforward. Invite. Okay, you see it right there. Invite. Okay, um, and if you click on that, you're going to get that same pop up again with the link, right? Um, the Gmail shortcut, the email shortcut, and the messenger shortcut as well, okay? Um, the other cool thing here that I wanna make note is that if you are inviting guests, um, you know, they may already be familiar with StreamYard or being a guest on a live stream, but if they are not, uh, there's this link right here. So there's this link right here that StreamYard shares. If you click on this link, it's gonna take you to this article on the StreamYard website that you can share with your guests. It's actually really helpful. And it basically is their instructions and best practices, right? And it's actually, the article is awesome because it actually speaks to your guest. If you read it here, it says, congratulations, you've been invited to join a StreamYard broadcast as a guest. Follow this guide and you'll be setting yourself up, self up to win, okay? So it tells you, you know, before the broadcast, joining the broadcast, what to expect, and some FAQs as well, okay? So super helpful here to have these guest instructions handy that you can send to your future guests uh, through StreamYard, all right? So there you have it. Um, that is how you invite guests 
to StreamYard. Now, if you have any questions whatsoever about bringing on guests or anything around StreamYard, please make sure you leave a comment down below. Um, really, really happy to answer any questions around StreamYard. That's what you know we do a lot here. There's a lot of StreamYard videos here just because I really love this tool. I use it myself for live streaming, creating podcast interviews, uh, creating podcast content, uh, creating content for my YouTube channel, all sorts of stuff. And so I, I really love do love this platform and I've been using it for years. Um, and again, if you have not set up a StreamYard account yet, make sure you head over to the description. That is an affiliate link just for full disclosure. So by using that link, you do support this channel. And so I hope that this has been a useful video for you. And um, yeah, leave a comment down below, even just to say hi, would love to meet you, get to know you a little bit better, what kind of content you're creating. All right. And so with that, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.